Hey Raiders, welcome back to another Jer Bearnicorn video. A few weeks ago, I released a tier list of the free damage dealers, and I came up with Wukong at the top along with Ragash and Rhonda. The A tier is also pretty strong with Supreme Elhane, Fenax, and Foley. So the topic of this video is, where does Xena Warrior Princess rank, and is she worth paying for? So let's take a look at her kit. Decent increase attack on her aura for arena. And then her skills and her passive. First of all, her passive is really good. Increases this champion's attack by 10% every time they use an active skill, stacking up to 100%. Then has a 50% chance of randomly changing this champion's weak hits to normal, strong, or critical. This will be applicable against Duchess. And then fills this champion's turn meter by 100% and places a 50% increase attack buff on the champion for one turn whenever eight or more buffs are placed on the enemy team in a single turn. Let's see how that's applicable. So let's find the usual suspects. Let's find Duchess. Duchess's A2 will put up three buffs on everyone else except her. So she'll get the eight. Sifi, what's Sifi going to do? Her first buff, her A2, she's going to put up three buffs on everybody. So both of them will activate it. Who else? Let's look here at Lady Kimmy, the bomb buffer. She'll put up both increased accuracy and in increased speed, so she'll do it. So those are kind of the big three. There are others who will, but those big three that are used pretty frequently will do it. Arbiter won't do it. Taking a look at her A3, attacks all enemies, will ignore 10% of the target's defense for each buff on the target. Resets the cooldown if it kills two or more enemies. That's pretty decent. So she's stacking up as a decent go second damager. Then her A2 attacks all enemies and will ignore defense for each buff, steals 20% of turn meter, and it can't be resisted if they have buffs. Then her A1 is a single target multi-hitter, will ignore defense with, for buffs, and will ignore shield if they have at least two buffs. So her kit altogether is very strong. She's going to hit hard, and she's going to get turns. So let's take a look at what it takes to get her. Looking at the renamed Battle Pass as Champion Pass. And you have to pay for the Elite Pass to get her. She's at the end of the paid rewards. She costs $40 if you're willing to wait for her. $60 if you want her right now. Is she worth it? Well, $40 or $60 for a Legendary. If she makes a big difference on your account, yes, she's worth it. If you spend. Obviously not if you don't spend. If you don't spend, then no amount of money is worth it. If she's not a big difference maker, maybe she's not worth it, though. So let's take a look at the free or easy-to-get champions that you may or may not have. First of all, let's look at Rhonda. And on her A3, her, rather her A2, she puts up the block passive skills and the block active skills, unresistible, and she ignores shield and defense. This is a very strong skill. Her A2 is a all-enemies multi-hitter. If you don't use it, though, she, she's immune to turn meter effects. The passive makes her a little bit survivable with the shield and also allows her to join in with her A1, much like Cardial does, which can amount to a lot of lucky wins. Then let's take a look at Wukong, who, in my opinion, is the best free damager Raid has ever released. So his AoE, he can steal all buffs from all enemies and then put up block buffs. This makes him great at Arena and Hydra. His A2 is a splash damage kill attack, so if he can hit somebody hard with that, kill them, his splash damage will kill the rest of the team. His A1 can put up a stun, and of course his passive allows him to self-revive. Looking at Ragash, his passive allows him to do 20% more damage. He'll do increased speed and strengthen. He will place decreased defense and stun. He'll self-buff, so he's pretty strong. So let's look back at Xena again. She has squishy base stats and there's nothing about her that makes her particularly survivable. But she is going to do a ton of damage, especially in long battles like in Live Arena. But you'll need someone like Necret to keep her alive. Overall, I would rate her up there with Wukong, Rhonda, and Ragash. And I think if you spend money on this game, it's kind of a no-brainer you pick this one up. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care. 